ninjas and dragons. You want to play? to lend me the money to buy this. I don't really have a lot of money on me right now. Oh, come on, Seymour, please. I don't want this showing up on a credit card statement. I'll get put on some weird mailing it's list and then it never much. stops. No, please. that's not the point. Please. Give me all your money, bitch. Yes. All right, welcome. Yeah. I'm doing good. Welcome, Dora, to Love Memes in your track theater. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing really well. How are you doing? Doing great. Really, really glad to have you on. Yeah. So, um, you ready for my crazy question? <laughs> Fire away. Okay. So, what's the craziest, what was the craziest party you've attended lately and who was there? Oh, lately? Oh, um, oh boy, that's kind of gossipy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, the you know, the thing about L.A. is, um, you know, yeah, there's parties and all of that, but a lot of the parties you wind up going to are kind of, they fall under the category of, like, work parties, and mm -hmm. they wind up being not as fun as just, like, maybe an evening with a bunch of friends, like, hanging out in your backyard or something. That's yeah, always a little you. bit more fun to me than a big, like, you know, gala or something. Yes. And I'd probably get arrested if I gave you the details. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I asked after Eddie Deason that question and he gave me a crazy answer. But... <laughs> I'm sure he did. Anyways, um, so please tell us about your latest series, Colony. Colony, yeah. It's, um, it's kind of, it's, you know, it's a family drama encircled in, in a science fiction uh, setup. Mm. So, Basically, you know, Los Angeles has been quote unquote colonized by an outside force, which we learn is is an alien invasion. <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, in 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 place of um, them directly taking over, they've created a proxy government by the people. So there's uh, you know by humans. So there's it's it, it, the environment very much mirrors like a, a World War Two era you know, occupied France, and uh, so, so the, the show actually delves in, like, how do people really, you know, handle such a situation when, you, you know, you're kind of forced to oppress one another on an extreme level, and, you know, mm -hmm. do you fight or do you join um, the people who are, are, you know, controlling you, and, and for what, you know, and yeah. with with an alien force looming over everyone's head, like, what is what is even the point, so... It, it kind of gets into some some crazy uh, themes, uh, but I, I play Morgan, a software engineer, yes. who is, you know, more on the resistance side of the equation. Yeah, so awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really going to check that out more. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, the, 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 the themes that it covers and, the, and just the whole the, the story itself is really, really intriguing, but also it, it always comes back to being like inherently a family drama within that world. So it's kind of it's kind of all over the place, which makes it exciting. Awesome. So can you believe it's been nearly 17 years since American Beauty was released? <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I mean, I can, but also like that sounds like a large number. But <laughs> yeah, but I can. It, it feels like it. It doesn't feel like a day less. That's for sure. Yeah, it still feels like yesterday. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, gotta say, I watched that movie a lot in a lot of crazy situations. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, was the weed was the weed in the movie being smoked real? Was the what? The weed in the movie being smoked. Oh, by I wish. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was some. I think it was just straight up hemp or something okay. or to, like non-tobacco I was 16 so it couldn't it was know, right. herbal cigarette you know rolled up something or other right. I, I've always wondered about that yeah I, it looked pretty good though <laughs> it kind of even had a smell that was familiar but yeah. no I, was, I wasn't into all that I was a good girl that, that's one of the many scenes from the movie that really stuck to my mind which scene was the what um well the the scenes like um Involved like that, like really powerful strain of, mm -hmm. of weed. 
but anyways, I'm talking about the topic of marijuana. What are your, what are your personal thoughts of cannabis use? Yeah, well, my thoughts on the use. Well, I mean, I think the issue look the issue is really complex, especially in California. Uh, but I think you know what what it really comes down to is you know look, we've got 167 prisons in California, and that's not mm-hmm. even including the division of the juvenile justice, right? We've got 200,000 people plus in prison, two-thirds of which are African Americans or Latinos. Um, you know, how many more pres- prisons would we really like to build? You know, right. <laughs> you know I, I mean, we could keep going, but that seems impractical. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, also there's a tremendous non-THC-related health benefits of marijuana, um, there's a, a you know a great industrial potential with hemp. So I, I think you know there's you know decriminalization versus medical marijuana. Th- that one you know I don't know. I would just say that from my point of view, it seems like there's still some major problems in regards to how we classify that particular drug. Right, right, very true. Anyways, and um, you played Empress Savina in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, do you enjoy a good game of D and D sometimes? I got into it because of that script. Basically, I, I read the script and it was it was so wild to me, and I was unfamiliar with the, the world that I kind of got into it a little bit. And mm-hmm. I, you know, we were able to shoot that movie in Prague, and it, you know, they put me on top of a dragon. So I don't mm-hmm. know. I was pretty happy. <laughs> really love your outfit. In yeah, it. I love the outfit. <laughs> I never had. I, you know, I really do miss the chain mail. It's kind of awesome having chain mail made for you. I got to tell you. <laughs> Speaking of outfits, I really have always loved your outfits in Ghost World. Thanks. Yeah, that was I mean, yeah. Mary Zofri is our, cast, our, our costume designer on that. She's just incredible. She's incredibly talented, and she found... I really got to give her the credit on that one, because she found amazing pieces. Yes. I, I must admit, I immediately bought a leopard print skirt like yours after watching it. <laughs> yeah, half of those things I was like, I really wanted to take home. I wanted the Raptor t-shirt, but no. Yes, I was going to ask you, do you still... Oh, you don't have it... Anyone. No, no, they wouldn't give me anything. I, 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 I tried to get all of it. <laughs> I was like, please, please. They're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. First of all, half this stuff has to go back in, like, in a vault. <laughs> yes, the, the wardrobe was great, among yeah. other things. I really loved the movie overall. Right. I had it on VHS back in 2002, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Planning on getting yep. it again. Those were the days. So you still keep in touch with Steve and Scarlett? Uh, you know, I've, I've run into Steve a little bit here and there, and obviously, you know, Scarlett, we, we stayed close there for a while, but I, I see him from time to time, but, you know, right. I, I don't have him on speed dial or anything, okay. you know. <laughs> yeah. So, are there any weird roles that you've turned down over the years? Uh, were they, that I regret, you mean? Yes. Ooh, uh, no. I mean, not, you know, not regret. I mean, there's, you know... Uh, maybe a couple of instances of like, you know, missed opportunities of this or that or the other, if you want to look at it in those terms, which I don't. And um, you know, I everyone's kind of like on their own path. And sure, there's been roles that have come along that I looked at that other people have done better stuff with. But at the same time, no, I'm like really happy with most of my choices. Okay. Were there like any roles that you turned down? That- yeah, maybe. Yeah, there, there. Yeah, there were. But okay. that's you know, I'm not gonna mention what. All right. <laughs> so, what were your favorite memories of hanging out with Kevin Spacey? Wow, so many. Uh, definitely shooting those dinner scenes with Kevin and Annette were, you know, both of them were, both of those scenes were so much, so much fun, because uh, there was just a, a really intense, high energy level, and. You know, going back and forth between you know Kevin's style, which yes. is you know very slightly reserved, and, and Annette, who was just always in it and really on and on point. It was it was amazing to watch. You know, it was a real treat. Right. But then there, anytime, anytime those two were on set, it was it was a great day. Yeah, it sure looks like looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> and I really loved Kevin from that Richard Pryor movie way back when. And speaking of early movies, uh, do, you, do you have any good memories of making Purple People Eater? <laughs> I do, actually. Going down that water slide was a lot of fun, and doing the twist <laughs> with Chevy Checker was kind of a blast, too. Uh, and that was, that was, <laughs> oh, yeah, and playing Barbies with NPH, that was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to know, because, like, 
I would, I love that movie since it came out. <laughs> Remember that? I like the song. I really do like I got the song. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch that again. <laughs> oh yeah. So speaking of music, like, what kind of heavy metal songs are you into? Or <laughs> what heavy metal songs? Are yes. You? Oh gosh. Um, Can you recommend us? I, 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 <laughs> You know, I'm not up on my heavy metal, I have to admit. What kind of music are you, are you into? Just oh, uh, oh, God, I, a little bit of anything. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. I'll put on anything from, like, you know, some jazz and or Nina Simone to, you know, Banks. I mean, I'm kind of all over the place. But I, I guess generally my taste falls under the alternative category. Cool. Yeah, yeah I'm playing a lot of alternative on this episode. Yeah. Any song requests? Ooh, you're playing. Okay, uh, how about uh, Halsey, Gasoline? Okay. Yeah. What else? Uh, let me see what else. Vampire by, uh, oh, God, I don't know who. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Um, that's a good one. And then uh, with the Oh, Wonder is all right. Uh, X Ambassadors are good. I'm just, I've, the song titles matched with, like, any of those is good. Okay. Let's start with Halsey. <laughs> all right, cool. Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, do you prefer gummy bears or gummy worms? Worms. All right. Yep. So, what other weird snacks do you recommend? Weird snacks. Uh, I'm kind of standard. Like a chocolate-covered pretzel is pretty good for me. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or once in a great while, I'm bad and I I go for the Doritos. I can't help uh, it. Yeah. So that's that's not a good thing. They've but been, yeah, <laughs> it they've been coming out with a lot of crazy flavors lately. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so any eighties B movies you're into? Eighties B movies? Yes. Thankfully, oh B movies? Oh my God, I could get in a lot of trouble. No. <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay. <laughs> just just wondering. Um. So, uh, anyway, it's running out of time, but what you got planned for the rest of the day? The rest of the day, I have to pack. I'm actually heading up to um, San Francisco in a couple of days to start oh, cool. working on that... an indie film there. So, yeah, I kind of oh, awesome. get scrambling. <laughs> What's the name of the film? Uh, you, you know, yet? I would love to, but because there hasn't been an announcement yet, I can't right. give it to you. Right. Like, but you'll probably, in like two, two or three days, there'll probably be something. Awesome. I, I'm in San Francisco right now, by the way. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I love the city, so it's it's just a second home to me. You know, I grew up in L.A., but I'm always running up there anyway, so. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, it's so glad to have you on, Thora, and you're welcome any you back any time. Oh, thank you so much for having me, and uh, maybe I'll uh, see you in North Beach. Yes, definitely. Okay. I love hanging out in that neighborhood. Yeah, anyway. me too. It's my favorite. Yes. Yeah. All right, Sarah. All right. Have a great day. You take care. All right. Bye. Bye.